Good morning, folks. We're starting in Saudi Arabia on the road to Mecca. Traffic and long waits are what these worshippers are used to, but the white stuff on the ground? and eh, not so much. You can see the elation in the kids and the adults running around in a glimpse of our planet's future. Anyway, let's get back on target. We're going to head over to spaceweathernews.com and find a calm 24 hours on our star. The Earth-facing disk presented no ejecta and no flashes of solar flares. Earth-facing quiet has the sun on the ropes. Another test will be presented, however, as the big spots up north depart, opening the door for the incoming active regions on the left, both north and south. Puny little guys up north and a lone wolf down south, neither appearing to be dangerous at this time, but it is still fun to watch those enormous magnetic field loops spin in to face us. Folks, we have a moderate coronal hole in the southern hemisphere, a polar extension, and while we wouldn't expect major seismic upticks from it, we can't stick our heads in the sand, especially with Cuba's significant uptick swarm this morning. Let's all hope those are not foreshocks, because that would end up being devastating. Folks, we're going to take a look at the full solar sphere here, utilizing the stereo spacecraft behind the sun. Here's how you read it. 90 degrees is the western limb, the right side as we look at our sun, with zero in the center disk earth-facing position. That coronal hole we just mentioned is visible down there. Negative 90 is the eastern limb, the left side is the sun as we look at it, and those bright areas are the north and south sunspot groups that we just watched turning in. Moving to the back side, we see a huge coronal hole on the north that will face earth in one week and then we'll come right back round to 90. That's how you analyze the entire surface of our star using the full suite of satellite products. Focusing just on the far side now, using Stereo A, we see a southern active region getting active down there, so we'll have to watch for non-Earth-directed heliospheric disruptions with longitudinal coupling back at Earth. Folks, we really are up against the last chance to buy tickets, book travel, and hotel for observing the frontier. We are just two weeks away from finishing up our conference. Head on over to spaceweathernews.com slash OTF for details. The first conference videos are already available at suspiciousobservers.org, where website members got more than 70 minutes of a Fly on the Wall podcast yesterday. That one's for Lou down in Clearwater, including a couple shiz hits the fan scenarios. Folks, by the time I speak with you next, the Arctic blast will have arrived. Preposterous levels of cold coming here. We'll just go around the world with pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.